YouTube tips that nobody knows. So if you're probably on this video, you're looking for a way to grow your channel or there's a lot of things that I know you guys search for to uh, make yourself popular and famous. I actually had the opportunity to travel to Korea and meet some of you guys to ask me some questions. I used to work in a marketing agency and now I help other people with their brand, but there's some things that I actually never think about. And some of you guys ask me these really burning, important questions that I don't think anyone on YouTube addresses. So with that being said, here are three YouTube hacks you gotta know. All you gotta do if you wanna know is keep on watching. What's up guys? So we're here at the meetup. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Shane and today we have a soul meetup. I'm talking about business, we're talking about social media, and we're headed to the event. We're currently at the train station. I'm here with Haley and Ryan. <laughs> Ryan and Haley. Um, and they're here with me in Seoul. Check out the vlog channel. They're actually having a great time with us, right? That's yes. so right. Are you guys excited? I'm having so, so much fun. I'm, I'm so nervous. Fun, um, but yeah. yeah, we'll see you guys there. What's up, guys? So we're here to meet up. We're going to walk right in. I'd like to go to your question. Is there a question a lot about like, uh, you know, what thing you're struggling with on Instagram? Most of the time of the week I'm at my studio. However, it is a, it, it is not so like fascinating. Always like taking pictures. Okay. Of Why can't you just make a vlog or like a video like, hey guys, this is my studio. For example, do you think it needs to be high production? Like people, they don't want to see the behind the scenes. Like Yeah, because uh, every music video is all fixed and all like very fascinating. If you want to make engaging music videos, they're quite there's a big budget, right? I actually want to ask you guys, like, for me personally, when you do you watch YouTube a lot, does anyone watch YouTube? Yeah. 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 <laughs> like, do you really watch YouTubers that are always like flashy lights and everything? Uh -huh. Like, do you what type of do you enjoy content that's also like, hey guys, I'm in this like you know like sometimes when do you I'm just curious when do you watch YouTube like at night or in the morning? Do you watch YouTube when you before you go to sleep? Yeah. Right? <laughs> you watch like before you fall all day long. But typically when you want to relax, right? It's very rare that you watch YouTube to get like you know. For example, do you guys make content that's not so, always so like loud? Like do you sometimes just make vlogs that are like chill? There's so many people who have blown up on YouTube from very low quality. It's just really what you're making that matters. But I don't think production quality really matters as much. Because if it's great production quality, but the substance isn't there, nobody really cares. Yeah. But if it's a really great song or really great, like maybe you have really great style and that's what they like about you, I don't think the production will matter as much. So like, what do you think works the best for growing as an artist in Korea? Is it good music or content like on Instagram? Best music. Music? Yeah, it is the best. Okay, so like, I, there's an American artist named Russ, and for 10 years, he put out a song every week, and he had his own studio, so he produced his own music and everything, so obviously there's an exception, but he doesn't really post on, on Instagram or anything, but he just focused on like putting out as much good music as he could. Mm -hmm. So I'm not even sure like how, how it differs oh. from like American music. Um, and that kind of culture. What, what's it like? How long does it take you to make a song typically? Uh, it's quite a bit long, a bit longer. Oh, uh, two or three months. Yeah. Really? What if your audience now becomes the people who are also interested in becoming an audience and then you're telling your story? Okay. Like, since it takes three months, you telling the story about yes. the process mm -hmm. that you yes. have to do in three months. Yeah. I would watch that. Would watch that. Oh. Yeah, so if, oh. I'm learning, so if I'm learning to <laughs> really? be an artist, and I don't know, you know, how difficult it is to be an artist. I would probably want to watch somebody who's like kind of telling, teaching me along the yeah. way, this is what I'm doing. Oh, hey, yeah. now it's like two o'clock. I'm on the way to the studio. I know what needs to be done. It's just how do you like organize your life? Oh, okay, I good question. Know. So here's the magic secret. I can give so much like tips and tricks, but the, the implementation is the most important, right? Yeah. Like how you do it is the most important. So I'll show you my secrets. So I have a notebook just to keep an idea how to come up with video ideas or Instagram posts every single day. So this is, oh, this is my process. First step, I just think about a problem. I, I think too many times we think about like a solution. You need to solve a problem. So ask your dog friends, what are you struggling with? Or ask people that are Americans, like, is there any questions you have about Korea, about music? Is like ask your people who are also artists, like, do you have any questions about maybe being an artist? So I would start with a really good problem. Steve Jobs once said, if you know the Apple company, the little small company called Apple, he says, 
if you solve a really good problem, you're gonna always have the right solution. So I live by that. So first up, I go every morning, I'm like, okay, what can I solve today? One of my biggest things I'm trying to solve is helping people make money. Like I think I wanna help more people kind of monetize it. So maybe I start that. I just start with the concept. Step two, after I think about my, the problem people have, I, I pick like three or four keywords. Like for example, is my dog gonna die of eating this shit, right? Maybe the keywords you feel like, just think about like, what are the three words, like actually, this is an exercise I wanna try. The problem is, what's ingredients, right? I kinda said some words, but what are three words that go with that problem that just kinda pop in your head? I'm gonna ask you, ready? What's the first one? Quality. Quality. Assurance. 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 Love. For love. The dog. <laughs> love for the dog. Quality, assurance, and love. So now, step three. Once you figure out the problem, you're like, okay, if you're a musician, it might be like, the problem is, um, you want to create like ideas or something or if you're like someone who does trying to connect events maybe people are struggling to find fun places to go you pick three keywords and then you actually can literally go onto google search and just like you can literally take those three keywords and be like okay like what how can i connect this to the problem so that's my process and my biggest step after you do that step four you take a break like sometimes i close my notebook and i sleep and that's it and i wake up and then somehow your unconscious will like understand you ever like think in the shower you're like I have an idea and then you write it down so my process is very simple I just think about a problem keywords solution sleep I was just preaching to somebody about that exact thing to actually ask yourself a question think about it for a little bit stop and then your body will I mean your mind will <laughs> will figure yeah. it out yeah as you go home I just thought maybe like a week or two ago I just told somebody <laughs> that exactly that's my process every day um, how to create ideas. Is that something along the lines of what you're struggling with or is this something more internal like posting consistently having a system? I guess it's just uh, like I'll film stuff and then I watch it and I'm like this is crap I can't post okay. that <laughs> and then I go through that process of okay let's try again let's make it better and so the editing process so you want to know like the process of like actually like going from idea to like editing and done yeah. and loving and, like, it and loving yeah. it okay I guess like my biggest tip from what I've learned is just try to learn from each video that you make. Everyone, everyone goes through that. If they, if like perfectionism is good, <laughs> it really is. But with YouTube, you kind of have to lighten up a little bit. Try to figure out like, okay, maybe I'll post this, and we'll just see what happens. Because like with the Lauren Gray video, the one that like blew up for me, it was completely different from anything else I posted, and I wasn't sure if people would like it. In fact, I was like positive, like this is not my audience. Um, so you just really never know. As long as you keep trying and try to learn from whatever it is that you don't like. Christina, tell us a little, we're almost here, but done here, but like, tell us a little about yourself, I'd love to know. I started here as like an English teacher, but I knew that's not what I wanted to do. So I came and I was like, okay, my end goal is to work in the Korean industry. So when I was an English teacher, I first came here, I danced with brand new music, like on the side, and like I did an audition with Yana. And after that <gasps> oh, audition, cool. and I passed it, everything just unfolded for me really yes and so i quit being an english teacher and i got my entertainment visa and now i'm doing Whoa. what i want to do Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> i was talking to one of my dancer friends and they said like as a dancer you cannot have you cannot make money from youtube because of copyrighted music oh, yeah. so how can you as an artist how can you make your youtube based upon like your dance life but some of my content i cannot put on youtube really because it's a lot of backstage and what about yeah. a story time if you can't film yeah. on set after set guys this is what happened that could work okay <laughs> yeah. I'll try that. like yeah. okay i can do that yeah. i think that's a good idea like i think what if you just do like the morning routine like oh hey guys i'm going to i'm going to set right now i'm gonna go drive there this is how I'm feeling right now. Like, I feel like we do this a lot in vlogs. Mm -hmm. Like, we don't actually film there. <laughs> the actual, like, topic of the video. We film before, how we're feeling, then and it then happens after, yeah. in real life. And then after, we're like, okay, it just happened, here's, here's how we feel, we'll yeah. tell you about it. So I think okay. that's a really good option, too. I don't think people really care about the difference or even notice that, mm -hmm. oh, wait, I wanted to see her actually on set. I think, I think you can still enjoy video completely without that. So that's exciting, I think that's good. How was it? It was great. Hey, it was good. It was hey. really great information. It's really amazing time. I want to thank so much to Ray. Go follow Entourage Soul if you guys are in Seoul, check out events. Um, he's been helping me put on the event and I want to say thank you so much. Anytime. Hey. hey. So 
soup we got my bowl of rice that I ate because I just was so hangry. Like if you guys saw the footage, I was legitimately hangry. So I feel a lot better. I feel like myself. So thank you guys so much for watching, for coming to the meetup. I'll catch you guys later next video. Go like this video, subscribe, and shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. What do the comment winner? Comment on this video to be featured in the next episode. Oh. Be next that was really good. Comment below, I love you so much. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye.